PTSD. I thought I was uh, losing my mind. Everything just fell apart. I was still in a war zone in my mind. I felt isolated. I felt alone. I made a choice. I made a choice to go seek treatment. Treatment has definitely helped me. Treatment has turned my life completely around. As we observe Veterans Day, there is new hope for treatment to help veterans who are battling with PTSD. Tonight, we're working for you with real solutions, and veterans are finally beginning to heal. Loy Nelson recalls the stress of being a combat medic in Afghanistan. Things just kind of kick in and you go into action, and that's kind of how the ball rolls there. And that involved, you know, actually finding IEDs, um, getting into some small arms fire here and there, a lot of indirect fire um, from mortars and rockets. But while he was busy saving fellow troops, the horrifying images and multiple deployments started taking a toll on him. A lot of sleeplessness, um, just anxiety, um, obviously the, the stents of depression here and there. Some of the memories that he unpacked include the death of one of his buddies and suicide, claiming the lives of 10 others. It's not just me, it's everybody that you know knows them, that they didn't reach out to the people that they should have reached out to and they just do it. You know, it's, it's very heartbreaking and it's, it's upsetting. He did nothing at first to get help until he met his future wife, Holly. He was a single soldier living in the barracks, spent a lot of time drinking and um, was very closed off. Mm -hmm. And he later told me, you know, you saved me um, by just being there for me. I was in a bad spot. I know when I got back, I mean, she brought it up to me that, you know, I should probably at least bring it up to the VA's attention and see what, what's out there. Loy took that step and Holly was there with him. I worry about him. I mean, I'm, his wife, we're a team and I don't want to see him suffering. Having that support system is one of the first ways that veterans with PTSD, like Loy, can learn to open up and begin the process of healing. I think just being open about it and listening more than anything. Dr. Billy Rutherford works with a number of patients with PTSD. He says learning how to communicate is an important step to move forward because PTSD won't go away by itself. It can be hard to hear about what your loved one went through or to hear what they're struggling with and if you're not ready to hear that then that sometimes doesn't help so much the other person feel comfortable disclosing further to you. For that, the VA offers new assistance by phone called Coaching with Care to educate, support, and empower family members and friends. And I don't the VA also something. offers what's called evidence-based therapies, and one of them, exposure therapy in groups or one-on-one. -on -one. And what exposure means is in some way working with, recalling, processing thoughts, feelings, and images that have happened rather than trying to avoid those and sticking them to the back of your mind. There are a number of other forms of therapy to help those with PTSD face negative feelings, reframe negative thoughts, or make sense of the trauma. <laughs> and the success rate is promising. According to clinical studies, most with PTSD who complete these programs actually begin to feel better. But it's not a one-size-fits-all, and you have to push through the challenges. And it's hard. We've had bad days. We don't have it all together all the time. Um, and it's frustrating when he doesn't want to talk to me about it because I know, I know what he's going through. And I want him to open up because I can't help if, if you don't talk to me or you don't reach out. But sometimes it's just not what he feels like. But I'm glad that we were able to get him help and that, you know, he's doing a lot better. We certainly appreciate the Nelsons mm -hmm. for opening up to us. And there are also various medications that are associated with some treatments. We've posted a number of resources, even mobile apps that you can download, and the crisis hotline number attached to my story on our website. And Pat, I know you had a special guest on Facebook Live today with some really important information as well. Yeah, Gary Gerald joined me on Facebook Live today. He's with the Vet Center here in Charleston. He shared some great advice. Bottom line, there is help that's working. It's just a click or a phone call away for you.